Hi and welcome to a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Best Friend Forever. It's a uh, dating sim of sorts, uh, but with one main difference, that you also adopt a dog and you need to befriend it too. Um, what is the quote? It's a game about dog lovers and people who love dog lovers, or something like that. Uh, anyway, I've got a save that gets through all of the tutorial sort of stuff, and we can get into the game and I can tell you what it's about. Alrighty. Alright, so the way the game works is that uh, you've adopted a dog. I've taken this mutt here. Uh, his name is Blocker. Uh, now, because you're a first-time dog owner and you've just moved to this town, they don't know much about you, so you've enrolled into a dog training program. Uh, the Pup Academy, and you need to prove to them that you have what it takes to raise the dog. So basically after 15 weeks they will check on your progress and make sure that you're raising the dog well. In order to do that you need to increase your dog's traits, in this case I've got Blocker here who's got all level 1 traits, and uh, you need, also need to manage their feelings. So the way this works is you'll just choose five activities. They tell you what actions they will improve. Uh, now I'm going to try for trust because the blocker was originally a uh, was picked up for adoption because the previous owners mistreated him. So I'm going to go for things with a lot of trust. Now um, I could be more fussy than this, but this is just a quick demonstration of how this all works. Uh, realistically, you may want to like balance the training more, or maybe you don't, I have no idea. Either way, you can see that Blocker has trouble with trust because they've got the down arrow there, uh, and they're good with manners, it's just these stats here. Um, Alright, so I've chosen, chosen five activities, each uh, each week you get to choose five activities to work your dog through and then we'll run it and you can see how this works. So uh, we did the first action which was manners and trust. You can see they've increased, they've gone to level two. Doggy daycare was sociability and trust, that's gone to level two, trust is still rising. You get the idea, stats. There are cute animations as well, there's lots to do. At any point in time you can pet your dog, it's pretty adorable. Okay, now after the training regime, uh, you need to tend to your dog's feelings. Now, uh, Blocker here has lost a fair bit of energy from those activities, so I need to try to find something that will increase energy. Unfortunately, nothing in the feeding uh, section here will increase energy. Uh, what I will do, though, is I'll swap to the tending one. Now, uh, we can increase energy by cleaning blocker's ears. So let's do that. Now you get a little mini game. Cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. And there we go. We can see that that increased the energy. I'm going to do that again. I believe the way this works is that there's actually combinations that you can do in order to get better benefits, but I don't know what they are. Uh, and I want to make sure I get the energy up. So I just did the basics. Now I've got one more action for the day. I might go with a chew bone, uh, just to increase food a little bit and increase the mood as well. That's a pretty good balance of stats. Mm, that's a cute little picture there. Every single dog that you can adopt uh, has its own pictures, its own little model here that you interact with on a given day. Now, uh, after you've done your dog training for the week, you get to choose up to five encounters that you're going to do. So you can make friends with the uh, the townsfolk and you can also train your dog. So uh, let's do some smarts training with Blocker. And let's do another one, why not? The other half of the game is meeting up with the colourful townspeople. Uh, there's a range of different people to choose from. Ultimately, they are all singles from the Woofer app. It's a, a Tinder mix with dog lover thing. Let's go meet strangers from the internet. 
So let's choose this Sasha, I believe their name is. Let's give it a try, see how we go. Sasha has a Italian Greyhound who I think is adorable. And basically this is how the story progresses. What will happen here is that you'll be talking to a character or a bunch of characters, they can be more than one, um, and you'll also be interacting with your dog as, oh there we go, see, so there. Uh, so Blocker got scared and started cowering and in addition to paying attention to the story I do need to make sure that I'm meeting his needs. And uh, every now and then the characters will invite you to have your say about what they should do or what you should do together. Uh, I quite like Anders, I think Anders looks pretty cool. Uh, so we'll go check out and see what Anders is up to. Anders is partially blind. Uh, all of the characters are quite unique. Uh, compared to what you would expect in a normal dating sim where they're sort of more anime trope based, uh, Best Friend Forever has a lot of you know, colourful characters. So Anders uh, is an older gentleman, he's got obviously long hair, he's a person of colour. There's a fair few choices, so there should be someone that you would like to... Ooh, come here, you. Uh, there should be someone that you would like to romance, or at least become friends with. So uh, as the story progresses, you can see that uh, Blocker got involved there because Anders was talking to him. Uh, I found a lot of the jokes are funny here. I don't know this one. Banjo Vise, livid, lizard on a chair. Uh... Nah, I've got nothing. Uh, it's probably a parody of some sort. Uh, forgive me, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not cool. I'm an old man now. Okay, we've got one more energy. Uh... We can train the dog as well, so we'll use our last energy to train Blocker up a bit more. And then it moves on to the scheduling for this week. Now, uh, let's do treats, why not? And we shake out the treats, and we hold the treats. That's a good dog. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at that cute little sleeping one. And then it's next week. And this is the basic premise of the game. Now, uh, after you've interacted with the character enough, you'll be able to go on a date. So let's go on a date with Sasha here. The characters aren't really two-dimensional, which is great. Everyone has sort of something going on in their life or they have something that, uh, that they're passionate about. So, you know, you may like the appearance of a character, but then find out that you don't really like what it is that they're about. Generally, I think that they've gone for a sort of like uh, a realistic representation of people. Oh, there you go, Sasha's trans. Uh, I didn't know. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't played this part of the game. Okay, there you go. So, uh, yeah, the, this is a perfect example of what I was just talking about. Uh, we have a, a trans man here. Uh, I believe the developers actually uh, got a trans person in. Uh, or at least, you know, had a conversation with them to find out about uh, how to represent them accurately as well. Um, how to represent the, the trans uh, perspective so it wasn't an unrealistic or unfair representation. So, uh, hopefully you get an idea of what the game is about. Um, Best Friend Forever, it's pretty cute. Uh, I like the idea that the you can pat the dogs. The writing is actually really, really nice. Uh, it's a wholesome game about uh, meeting people with interesting backstories and their own... Um, and their own... Uh, unique perspectives on life. There's a lot of there's a lot of great characters in uh, in the game, and they all have their own uh, sort of important uh, like things that they care about. And yeah, there's a really great representation. There's some really mature writing in terms of well developed characters with their own thoughts and feelings and their own uh, preferences and desires. Pet dog. Uh, yeah, so overall, I I really do quite recommend it. I think it uh, it has a lot of potential to 
be both relaxing and meaningful. Um, it's something that can probably stick with you for a while in both terms of uh, the bond that you form with your dog as well as your chosen companion. I'm Sneaky Echo. If you'd like more videos like this where I sort of talk while playing as opposed to the more rigid uh, scripted videos that I normally do, let me know in the comments of the video below. In the meantime, you can find my channel here, I hope, <laughs> and uh, another video uh, that I've done recently here. Thanks for watching. Bye.